bold moves in Greece today. The current finance minister says he's going to step down if Greek voters say yes to the austerity plan in Sunday's referendum. Will he actually be good to his word? Bloomberg's Eric Schatzker is in Athens during this key moment. Eric, uh, how is this working? Government by plebiscite. Government by plebiscite on Sunday, Pim, but as you said just moments ago, Greeks are still trying to figure out what they're voting for. Are they voting for Eurozone membership, up or down? Are they voting for a bailout proposal? And I want to throw something new into the conversation here. I am very eager to see how this plays out in the Greek media tomorrow as we march towards Sunday. The IMF has just come out with a preliminary draft report saying that Greece needs $40 billion more in euro area financing over the next three years over and above what has already been loaned to it and even if greece meets the demands of the creditors the ones that were put on the table this past weekend uh, they're going to have to agree to double the maturities on the existing loans but listen to yanis varoufakis the finance minister this is what he this is how he puts it into perspective if we sign that agreement that was offered to us by the institutions, in six months, 12 months, we'll be even closer to insolvency, even closer to Grexit. Yep. So I'm not going to put this question to people, because if you were asking me, do I want Greece in the euro, I would say absolutely yes. It's a senseless question. The Greek people want us to stay in the euro. The referendum is about how to achieve that. Do we achieve it by accepting and another extending and pretending? I don't think so. Yarovarufakis says that voting yes just means voting for more pain, as you just heard him say, and that's why he and his government are urging the Greek people to vote no. Pim, I have to tell you, the momentum is shifting towards yes, but there's still a lot of time to play out between now and Sunday. Back to you, New York.